In today's video, I want to talk to you about being the victim of your own wicked self. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, in the last days, you want to be mindful of who you follow, who you look up to, who you take advice from. You know, for men, I would tell you, you don't want to look up to these lawless entertainers. You got entertainers that seem spiritual but they don't tell you or, or line you up towards righteousness they always have a wicked interpretation of things that could be righteous but they've got some very vain and wicked to add to it you know we see that with artists like uh kevin gates i would tell you you know not to follow the likings of somebody because the fruit, you're not seeing the fruit. You know, I'm gonna put a link down in the description just showcasing the debauchery of marriage, you know, an abrupt end to marriage that Tia Mari uh, showcased to the world. And this isn't a woman that said, okay, I left because he couldn't be honest with me about having uh, a, uh, a woman outside of, you know, our marriage and all of this. It wasn't none of that. But she went around and toured and got on these talk shows talking about marriage being a curriculum and she got to the graduation and all of this nonsense. And a lot of, and what makes it, what, a lot of these women that's on these talk shows are older than her and should have known better. But I tell you, if they will, if they will, if they have the opportunity to lead the naive astray, they will. In this video below, you'll see the rise and the fall. The rise being being haughty and high-minded, thinking she had some wisdom, but it was just carnal stupidity and ignorance, you know? And she had all of these women advocating for her. This is my story. This is my piece and love yourself. And, you know, I've graduated marriage. That was her message to uh, divorced women that didn't get divorced for biblical reasons. You know, tell your story, live in your truth. You'll see in that doggone video I've attached in the descriptions. Now she's talking about how hard it is as a divorced woman. Now she's playing the victim like this man divorced her and caused all that, 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 that pain she's going through, all that suffering. Man, I'm not saying that, you know, he was perfect or she was perfect, but when the word says a wise woman builds her house, and the foolish plucketh it down, that's how you do it, with your own wickedness. Man, Tia Mari is nothing but a victim of her own wicked self. And I'm not saying that, uh, I'm not saying she's wicked in order to uh, shame her, but at some point until you're born again and stepping to righteousness, man, even you and I are wicked. But to be born again, man, you're trying to learn the ways of righteousness. And I don't care how spiritual these men and women may seem to you, man, you'd be a damn fool if you were following somebody like Tia Mari. You got a marriage of 15 years. And you talking about you've graduated because you uh, have advanced the curriculum. They always try to tell their story in, in my love and in, in my truth and self-love and, and peace and all of that. And I told you, man, I've said it many times before. You're going to have these foolish women are going to bite off more than they can chew 
And then in misery, they're going to be the victim. They're going to play the victim. You know, now I have to find ways how to cope with being a divorced woman. I didn't think it was going to be like this. She thought she was going to get back out there and all of these men were going to fall head over heels for her. And that ain't the case. I tell you, Mary, when you get out there, you might want to think long and hard because you're not who you used to be. You got a little age on you and men know, hey, if that's how you did it and you 30, 40 years old, ain't nothing good in it for me. And a lot of these men don't even want to, they don't even have a, 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 a sexual or a physical lust or attraction towards a rebellious woman like that. All based upon how she left her marriage. Nobody gonna take her serious. You gotta think, you can find some dude that'll just knock down anybody in town. He might give her some time a day, but she's never gonna showcase him. I tell you, man, you might wanna be mindful of these people that 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 put on uh, spirituality as an act, as a cover up. You gotta think, man, this woman's an entertainer. So when that camera's on, man, she'll say anything for the views and for the money. Not once thinking about, man, how many women will she lead astray by promoting this, uh, you know, instead of honoring my marriage, I'm gonna graduate my marriage. Because the only thing, let me tell you something, if you go from being a married woman, having a cover and being protected from fornication, sexual morality, to divorcing your man, man, you're going back to harlotry. You're going back to fornication. No matter what you call yourself in, in self-love and all of this, everybody you entertain that wants to lay down with you and you lay down, you back in fornication. You, you, you in adultery because you left based upon unbiblical reasons. I tell you, man, I, I can't caution women enough. Do not look up to these celebrity women. Do not look up to these celebrity women. When you look at the fruit, the evidence of righteousness, I'm not talking about money. I'm not talking about views. No, I'm talking about the evidence of righteousness. They will show you when you line it up against the word. Hey, they don't, they don't I wouldn't put, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't let my damn dogs follow Tia Mori. Cause she ain't leading them to nowhere good. Closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight.